एवरीवन वेलकम टू द फिफ्थ वीडियो ऑफ कंपाइलर डिजाइन सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट इंटरमीडिएट कोड जनरेशन एंड इट्स मेथड्स इन ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ अ सोर्स प्रोग्राम दैट इज द कोड दैट यू राइट टू एन ऑब्जेक्ट कोड रिप्रेजेंटेशन दैट इज अ कोड दैट मशीन अंडरस्टैंड्स अ पार्सल मे जनरेट एन इंटरमीडिएट रिप्रेजेंटेशन व्हिच ओपन्स रूम फॉर रीटारगेटिंग ऑफ कोड एंड इट्स ऑप्टिमाइजेशन देयर आर थ्री वेज टू राइट इंटरमीडिएट कोड फर्स्ट वन इज टू यूज द पोस्टफिक्स नोटेशन second is to use a syntax tree and third one is to use three address code a postfix notation is where the operator follows the operand we have an expression on screen that says a minus b in parentheses star c plus d in parentheses plus a minus b in parentheses the operands are a b c d and again a and b the operators are minus multiplication plus plus and minus with this many operators there has to be an order of precedence an order of precedence means the order of execution of an operation associated with a given operator a parenthesis is of highest precedence among other operators it means you have to execute or calculate the expression inside the parenthesis before any other operation next is division and multiplication operation that is star and slash and the least precedence in this case is given to addition and subtraction now with this knowledge we can start writing a postfix representation of this expression starting from any of the three parentheses let us start from the first one we have to write it in the form of an operator following the operand the operands are a and b and the operator is minus so we write a b minus with the rest of the expression as it is the next parenthesis contains the operand c and d with an operator plus we write the operands together followed by the operator which gives us c d plus then we write the expression as it is the third parenthesis contains operands a and b with an operator minus to make it a postfix we write a b minus now to lessen the difficulty let us work with the first two parenthesis and assume the first one to be x and second one to be y we get an expression x star y which in postfix form will be x y star the expression becomes a b minus c d plus star the rest of the expression can be written as it is now we got two parentheses again we will assume the first one to be x and second one to be y we get the expression x plus y which in postfix form becomes x y plus so the final expression we get is a b minus c d plus star a b minus plus next up is syntax tree representation of intermediate code generation let us consider the grammar e derives e plus e e derives e star e and e derives id the parse tree for this grammar will look like this whereas its condensed form which is a parse tree without presence of non terminal will look like this this is what we call a syntax tree Coming up next we have three address code a three address code is a statement of the form x equals to y op z where op is an operator it is called three address code because it involves no more than three references of an object and an operator we have the expression a plus b star c slash d the order of precedence of operator still stands to write this expression in the form of x equals to y op z we have to identify two operands we can start with b star c or c slash d as both of them hold higher precedence over plus so let us start with b star c we can write t1 equals to b star c where t1 is the reference to result of b star c moving on to the operator with equivalent precedence we can write t2 equals to t1 slash d where t2 will hold results of b star c that is t1 slash d only the addition operator is left now which gives us t3 equals to a plus t2 where t3 holds the result of entire expression so this is three address code and it can further be represented by the following three categories the first one is a quadruple with four fields second one is triple with three fields and third one is an indirect triple with three fields and a pointer with these notations we are going to draw a table to represent three address code in the quadruple representation we start by the same expression as before a plus b star c slash d on the screen we see the usual representation of three address code that is x equals to y op z the three address code of the expression and the table with fields operator operand 1 operand 2 
and the result. The operator field corresponds to OP in the expression, operand 1 corresponds to Y and operand 2 to Z, whereas the result is similar to X in the tree address code representation. The number of rows in this table is equal to the number of references used, that is 3. The first tree address code is T1 equals to B star C. Here the operator is star, operand 1 is B and operand 2 is C. The result is stored in T1. The second code is T2 equals to T1 slash D. The operator is slash, operand 1 is T1 and operand 2 is D. The result is stored in T2. The third code is T3 equals to A plus T2. The operator is plus, operand 1 is A and operand 2 is T2 and the result is stored in T3. This is the final quadruple table. Moving on to triple representation, it's going to be same as the quadruple but we will remove the field of result and rather write references by using a temporary value. Let's see this in action. The first three address code is T1 equals to B star C. Here operator is star, operand 1 is B and operand 2 is C. And let us assume that the result is stored in a temporary value, let's say 1. The second code is T2 equals to T1 slash D. The operator is slash, operand 1 is the result of B star C that we assume to be 1 and operand 2 is D. And the result for this code we assume will be stored in temporary value 2. The third code is T3 equals to A plus T2. The operator is plus, operand 1 is A and operand 2 is the result of B star C slash D that we assume to be a temporary value 2. This is the complete triple representation of 3 address code. The third and last method for 3 address code representation is indirect triple. This is the same as triple representation with only reference of pointer field. In this field, we write pointers to the references that is T1, T2 and T3. Let us assume the value of pointers to be 11, 22 and 33. We take the same start by identifying operator and operand from the first line of 3 address code which is T1 equals to B star C. Here the operator is star, operand 1 is B and operand 2 is C. For second code T2 equals to T1 slash D, the operator is slash, operand 1 is the pointer to the first line of code that is 11 and operand 2 is D. For the third line of code T3 equals to A plus T2, the operator is plus, Operand 1 is A and operand 2 is the pointer that holds value of second line of code that is 22 and the indirect triple table is complete. This is how intermediate code representation is done. We have seen the types and the subtypes. Please like, share and subscribe if you found this helpful. Thank you for watching.